Hello, my beast Toycat, and this is Seed Sunday, a weekly series where I show you seeds for Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. And uh, this week's seed is Seed Sunday 92345, as in the name of the series you're watching right now, then 92345. I'll put that on screen in the description just in case text works better for you. And uh, what makes this seed so cool, you might be wondering. You can probably tell from the title, but it has 18, that's right, 18 abandoned mine shafts, which is completely crazy, uh, off the wall you know, insane, if, especially if you want to do a survival world and you want to explore, like, all the, uh, you know, underground structures, uh, you're a bigger man mine shop fan like me, it's completely off the wall crazy, because you usually get anywhere from two to five man mine shops in the world, so, again, 18 completely uh, nuts and stuff. So, uh, since there is 18, it's hard to differentiate them from each other, because... Again, you're, you're going to see a lot of crossover and the same stuff between a bit 18 abandoned mine shafts. I'm just going to quickly show you the coordinates and the map for each of the uh, abandoned mine shafts, and if there is anything uh, which I found in my little search, because I've explored maybe 10 percent of each of them, uh, then I'll point it out. So there, there is still a lot to be found. If you do want to explore these and find anything, post them in the comments. Uh, let other people know. Uh, feel free to do that. That's a really cool uh, thing when people do that for other people. Uh, but yeah, so that's this is a uh, abandoned mine shaft number one. It's uh, X95 uh, Z233, and uh, it's. It's a very nice one that crosses with a double ravine, and uh, you c it, as you can see, it exposes itself quite a few times. So if you wanted to just you know just climb over it, or whatever, it's uh, very entertaining to do that with, and it's it's definitely a fun one to explore first of all, especially since it's so close to spawn. Uh, so yeah, let's head to another one. So in the far bottom left hand side of the map, very close to the corner of the world, is a, a band mine shelf number 2. And uh, this one's not particularly special, although it is very low down at uh, y equals 10, which means that you could find yourself some diamonds if you look around it enough. Uh, and also there's a cave spider spawner very close to the uh, place where you dig down, so yeah. A band mine shelf number 3 is a little to the north of band mine shelf number 2, and is a, uh, another little special one because it has a, uh, a skeleton spawner just uh, down the corridor from where you dig down to it. So uh, at x minus 377, z285, you can get yourself a skeleton Skeleton spawner mixed with a band mine shaft, uh, which is a really crazy rare opportunity thing because of how rare skeleton spawners are by themselves. And uh, combined with mine shaft, uh, it's completely crazy. So a really great little start to the game right there if you want to make a XP farm or an arrow farm or something. But yeah, so yeah. Abandoned Mine Shelf number 4 is a little to the uh, northeast of Abandoned Mine Shelf number 3. And uh, there's another one of these ones that's uh, just in a ravine, but nothing too special regard uh, besides that that I've seen so far anyway. Uh, so, you know, one to explore if you like Ravine Abandoned Mine Shafts again, and you want to dig for it for some reason instead of just finding it exposed. Abandoned Mine Shelf number 5 is just to the northwest of Abandoned Mine Shelf number 4. And uh, it's basically another one of these really cool ones that just sort of cross the ravine. But besides that, it's just uh, an opportunity to explore lots of it at once. Uh, nothing too special about it besides that, as far as I can tell so far. So a little further to the north is Band Mine Shelf number 6. And uh, Band Mine Shelf number 6 is one of these uh, ones that I just haven't explored at all. Because uh, it did just look like it's another cool one for you guys to completely explore. There could literally be anything in there. So uh, a cool one to go first to if you really want 100% unexplored stuff that could literally be anything. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's that. Uh, Band Mine Shelf number 7 is a little to the east of Band Mine Shelf number 6. And uh, it's one of these ones which is just a big room surrounded by a lot of uh, you know, Band Mine Shelf corridors to explore. Uh, so it's, it's another one of these great ones that could literally have anything in any direction, but you know, that's just uh, what it is. Abandoned Mine Shop number 8 is to the northwest of Abandoned Mine Shop number 7, and it's significant because it has a zombie spawner right above uh, mixing one of these uh, big dirt rooms, uh, which is quite cool for XP farms and such, just as the skeleton spawner is. And uh, it's quite significant that, you know, I've already there's already two of these just uh, merged with the Abandoned Mine Shop. It's really strange how that turned out, but it's just, uh, again, how things turned out. So that's Abandoned Mine Shop number 8 right there. Although Abandoned Mine Shafts number 9 and 10 are in the ocean and quite hard to get to, there is this uh, little mushroom biome island uh, quite close by, so if you want to set up a base and have uh, mushrooms around, which are a really great source of food in so many ways, uh, then this would be a great place to set up a base and then dig underground and get to the coordinates uh, by going underneath the water. Uh, otherwise, if you want to do the complicated sand or uh, dirt technique, then uh, Abandoned Mine Shaft number 9 is found right here. This is an underwater one, so probably one of the ones you want to go to last if you just want an easy one. It's definitely recommend recommended you come here. Uh, but this one is merged with a big room. Uh, nothing particularly special besides that. Besides, you know, you could look around and try and find whatever you want to find. And it looks like I just found a chest. So uh, there's some pumpkin seeds, some railway tracks, some more pumpkin seeds. Uh, and yeah, so this is uh, Bandman Shop number 9. Abandoned Mine Shop number 10 is uh, just to the west of uh, Abandoned Mine Shop number 9, and uh, this is the double Abandoned Mine Shaft on this seed. Uh, it's two Abandoned Mine Shafts very, very, very close together, so they intersect quite a lot. Um, it's hard to do that right here, but basically if you want to explore this place, it's the double one, so this is one you could come to at some point, and uh, just uh, also look how perfectly they 
blend but uh, it's one you could come to at some point and uh, it'd be a perfect one to explore if you're looking for a massive just uh, non-stop uh, maze of uh, you know a bad of mind sharp corridors and stuff uh, definitely one I'd recommend for those people who want who want the biggest one possible because it's two in one as I've said uh, and yeah Okay, so Abandoned Mine Shop number 11 is a little far to the east of the Mushroom Biome, which is uh, the island you can see just over there, in the, that isn't rendered right now, but basically uh, it's Abandoned Mine Shop number 11, and it's another insignificant one, but it has a Cave Spider spawner, and uh, probably shows potential, maybe, I mean, you could look around and try and find some stuff, but it's just, it's caves and stuff uh, with an Abandoned Mine Shop, so another just great one to get later on, but not, nothing too significant in here. A little to the south of Band Mineshaft number 11 is Band Mineshaft number 12, which is, uh, it's a, it's a, it's another one of these ones that's like, oh, there's potential, but who knows what's in that potential, because uh, I, I figured I would just, uh, not explore some of them, like, I explored two corridors here, but I, I figured it's more fun to leave some of them completely empty, because they could have literally anything in, so this is one of those, uh, Band Mineshaft number 12 at X133, Z104, um, a Bandit Mineshaft number 13 is uh, a little far to the northwest corner of the map and is uh, another one of these just uh, interesting ones because there's a big pile of gravel blocking uh, two Abandoned Mineshaft corridors that are next to each other. That's where the fences joined if you're wondering. Uh, and it's, it's just interesting to see as well as some coal as well as just, uh, you know, another one of these just uh, who knows what could be in there. It could be anything. It could be literally nothing. It could be everything. That's that's the challenge you can find out if you uh, find out the seed. So uh, X308, Z-265. Abandoned Mineshaft number 14 is a little to the south of Abandoned Mineshaft number 13, and uh, this is one of those cool ones because it's really, really low down. Uh, you do have to go through two, uh, two layers of water, but that's quite easy. It uh, only involves 8 dirt or, you know, 10 gravel or something like that. And uh, basically, if you do go down here, the very first corridor, the only corridor you can take out of this dirt room, will lead you straight to diamond, which is uh, really cool. Unfortunately, it is only one diamond from what I can see uh, so far, but it's still, it's a free diamond, you know, I'm... I'm going to take any diamonds I can have. So, uh, free diamond if you head to this one uh, at these coordinates right here. Um, which will just uh, make sure it's right. Yeah, so X372, Z-75. Uh, you have to bring 8 gravel or 8 dirt or something to get past the uh, 2 layers of water. But it's definitely worth it for the free diamond, uh, as always. So even further still to the south, at X396 uh, Z28, uh, you'll find yourself uh, one of the higher up amount of mine shafts, uh, which is at Y43. And it's one that just sort of, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those ones that's slightly harder to navigate, like you actually have to dig past this wall to get anywhere, because uh, if you lead down there, I believe it's another dead end, yeah, it's, it, it's, so it's a dead end that you have to dig to actually get through, so it's an interesting one to just confuse people with, be like, oh, look at the abandoned mineshaft, it's just, a, it's literally two abandoned mineshaft corridors at first, uh, but you have to dig for a wall, so just remember to do that, uh, and it's it's one of the more interesting ones, because you have to do that, but on the other hand, it's really high up, so all the good ores aren't going to be there, and you're not going to find slimes and stuff, if that's uh, on your agenda. Abandoned Mineshaft number 15 is the furthest east uh, Abandoned Mineshaft, and is again one of these low down at Y15 ones. Uh, and actually, if you dig down straight from here, you'll end up with the melon seeds, which you're no doubt looking for if you want Abandoned Mineshaft. Uh, so this is a key one if you want some food to uh, go with you while you're doing all the Abandoned Mineshaft stuff. And uh, it's a particularly cool one in my opinion because it leads to all of this uh, cool stuff, and I... From what I've explored so far, it looks quite cool, and uh, another thing that's uh, interesting, maybe cool for you, maybe not, is that because it's so close to the edge of the map, uh, eventually there are points where it will just get cut off by the end of the map, and there'll be no amount of mine shafts that just lead to nowhere. Uh, so if that's something that appeals to you, this is definitely one for you. Mine mineshaft number 16 is actually quite close to the west of Amanda mineshaft number 15, and uh, is a, another one of the just uh, sort of, haven't been probably explored, but it has a chest, and uh, it's also another one of those Y16 uh, lowdown ones, so if you want to get yourself some diamonds. Uh, again, it's one of the ones you want to go to first, because it's really cool that you can explore a mineshaft and also find diamonds quite easily. Uh, it's one of those little benefits, and also if you're wanting the chest, it doesn't have anything particularly cool, it's just lapis, coal, and bread. Uh, but if you're desperate for food and want the melon seeds, but you don't want to plant melons, because that's too much effort, then this is definitely one for you. And finally, abandoned mineshaft number 18, which is actually quite close to the NPC village, which doesn't unfortunately have a blacksmith chest, but it's still, you know, a nice place to collect some wheat and cool a home if you want to explore the four or five abandoned mineshafts. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's five abandoned mineshafts within a decent proximity of it, then it's definitely one to make your home, uh, set a base up or something, and also take all the wheat so you can make bread and uh, keep yourself alive. But yeah, abandoned mineshaft number 18, it's uh, right here, uh, quite high up actually for you know, to dig down from, and uh, again, it ends up on a chest, and uh, in the chest, you get yourself some more melon seeds, if that's what you want, uh, some coal, some redstone, some bread, uh, always cool things, and uh, I could not find anything particularly special about this one, but it's just, it's it's another one of those ones that shows potential, because I didn't find anything, and everybody knows, uh, if, you, if I don't find something, that means there's something out there that I just didn't find, maybe. 
that could be it. Uh, so yeah, this was 18 abandoned mine shafts on one seed. Uh, sorry if the video was a little long. It takes a lot of time to show you all of them. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Hopefully the seed helps you out. Uh, one more time, it's Seed Sunday 92345. Um, Hopefully you do enjoy Seed Sunday. If you do enjoy Seed Sunday, check out the playlist, uh, see if you've missed any seeds. Uh, I will be doing a really cool one next week as well, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Uh, just a little background on how I found this. This took over a thousand seed checks, so yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it or share it or something if you did. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.